Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to share with you guys um, a bit about, a bit more about time management. You know, a couple of days ago, one of you guys asked me a few tips on time management. And the tips I gave you there was very good at the beginning, right? It was like, it's, 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 it's really effective, especially when you are, um, when you're moving in a direction that's more or less one dimensional. Meaning that in the beginning, right? Like when I have two, three clients, in the first week, in the first week of the month, most of their work is done, right? We're waiting for the links to index, all that stuff, whatever. And then when I start selling, I could be most of the time just selling, you know? I'm, I'm calling people, I'm sending video audits, I'm following up, I'm doing all that shit, right? Making proposals, whatever. But right now, when you are doing multiple things, it get, the time management gets, get, gets a little more difficult. I mean, a lot more difficult, to be honest. Um, I mean, you're always doing multiple things, but when you're doing things that are completely different. So for example, right now, a lot of my day is building the systems, literally like building, building the process sheets of exactly step-by-step -step how you have to do certain mundane tasks and then a video to go with it of how to do those tasks itself. So when, you know, basically creating a system where there's a step-by-step -step task list, also a video showing how to follow the task list. So there's no holes in between for the VA who I'm going to onboard and stuff like that, right? So I'm building that. But I'm also coming back in the sales side. This week I already started. I had Monday, one, you know, have the call day. Yesterday I sent a lot of video audits. Um, but basically the main gist of it is that I'm having to come back in the sales because it, to, to wait for all that systems to come in place is going to take too long. Possibly two, three months uh, it could take. And I can't not be selling for that long, right? Um, initially, I thought like, all right, I'm going to build all these systems, just bang them out and onboard a person and they're going to be running, you know, hit the ground running from the day one. And it's not like that. That's just, that's just on the books. So anyways, what do you do when things like that happen, right? When you are doing multiple things that are very big in, a, in of themselves and create, needs a lot of your attention and time. And that's when you, I believe, start creating days for certain things, right? It's very hard, especially for me, and I think this is genetic. Like, I, I really think, you know, I, a lot of people uh, put, will put this on, you know, you're born with entrepreneurs, I have the hustle and stuff like that, but I think it comes down to a lot of genetics because I remember from high school, um, certain tasks I just can't do. I can't change gears that easily, right? I remember, like, people who was in the top of class, they would be just, like, focusing, you know, they would, they would study, like, I don't know, four or five hours of math, and after that, like, uh, jump onto science or whatever they do, right? And I would have trouble. I mean, I actually had trouble concentrating on anything in high school, but that being said, um, I would have a lot more trouble changing gears, right? So I'm just not a person who can kind of be writing content, and then I can get into training the VA, and there's, like, five-minute gap. No, there's a huge gap. There's a huge frustration of me going to that. I have to recap what's the last thing I said to them, all this shit, right? So what you're looking at here is days of the week. You know, it's from leadresponsemanagement.org. A, bu a buddy of mine shared this with me uh, not too long ago, and I think it's a, it's a really good source. Basically, it lets you know the best days that is, the best days of the week to contact new prospects, right? Basically. It's uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Today's Thursday, right? Yesterday I sent video audits. Today I'm going to go fucking ape shit on sending video audits because it's two, two days of the week. Basically, I'm going to be starting out selling two days a week from now. And then, um, you know, couple next couple of weeks, this is how I'm going to go about it until I can get, get back full time into selling, um, which is where I want to be, right? But anyways, so best day of the week to, to get new prospects or contact is Wednesdays and Thursdays, all right? Best times to call them is evening. Where is the times? Four to five. Now, this kind of corresponds with my experience because I realized over time to call contractors, Monday is not a good day. I, I never got much done on Monday. I don't know why. Uh, Tuesday is okay. This says that Tuesday is not good, but Tuesday I find it okay. So bear in mind, this is not designed for contractors or your niche. This is designed for, I think, like overall sales. Um, you know, it's a large sample they take, but nevertheless, it's something to go with. Um, ta initial deals, dials to lead become qualified, all right? Pretty cool stuff, you know, seven to eight dials before lead becomes qualified. It gives you a lot of perspective of like, you know, other niches, what is the average? So, you know, if you're following up like once or twice and then give up, no, follow up until they so say no, because they might be interested and they might just be busy. So, um, anyways, check this shit out at the least 
even if it does nothing, at least it's a nice way to go about it. Like, you know, have some structure to your day. Now, the main thing I want to say in this video is if you're in the beginning stage, please don't take this literally. If you're in the beginning, fucking call all day on Mondays. See the worst days on Tuesday and then call that day. Because if you have no clients, if you have no sales, nothing like that, don't be like, all right, so I'll do this on Mondays and I'll do like affiliate marketing or some shit on like Monday. That, you, you'll not get anywhere, right? I'm saying when you are at a certain point where you actually have shit that's important to do, right? Like, you know, I have to build a system. I have to sell. And uh, another thing that's taking a lot of my time actually is if, uh, in the evenings is, um, you know, trying to actually grow the brand, right? You know, I'm, I'm putting some effort there as well to grow the brand for, you know, for the first time. As I said in the beginning of the uh, year, it's one of my goals to actually market myself, right? I never got the chance to do that. I'm always doing outbound sales. It would be awesome if I could start putting some things in place where eventually people would see me as, a, as an authority, right? So that's also something I'm, I'm working on at the same time. Those are three big things that are, takes a lot of time and energy, right? So this is how I'm going about it. Wednesdays and Thursdays, I'm going to be selling. So today I sell hardcore. And then Fridays, I'm going to try to follow up, at least in the morning to afternoon, follow up. And then that's what my sales is going to look like. The rest of the time, Mondays and Tuesdays, is going to be more dedicated and the weekends obviously more dedicated to build a system until i get and i hire this person and they're good to go right this is the structure i'm following it's gonna it's you know my my hours of work just went up again but it's for good reasons because once this is set once i hire this person and they're good to go it's going to be dramatically lower at least for the fulfillment side all right so thanks for watching